Hey guys, and welcome back to Pro Speed Baseball. Keep your head down, probably the number one thing said by coaches to players. And keeping your head down as a hitter is one of the most crucial things you can do because it contains your most important weapons as a hitter, your eyes. If you're a hitter that struggles with keeping your head down and no matter what you try, you try to keep your head down and it still flies out, or you just wanna be even more efficient with your baseball swing, you're gonna to wanna to pay close attention to this video. Nobody's up there hitting at the plate saying, I really can't wait to take my eyes off this pitch. So why do we pull our head out even when we're trying not to? And that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. And then I'm going to give you a series of easy to follow drills that you can do on your own to have a rock solid head and give yourself a chance of crushing every single pitch that comes over the plate. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, well, let's first talk about a couple of reasons why we pull our head out. The first one's very obvious. It's just a bad habit where we just yank our head out out of you know, have it from Little League, what, what have you. The second reason is probably the most common reason, and I talk about this a lot in my videos, where we bury our hands behind our body. Now, what this does when we take our hands and we pull them behind our body when we load, is we now have our body in between the ball and the bat. So I'm not gonna go too far into the hands thing, but what this does is we're, at, we're forced to over-rotate, and what happens here is it leads to a lot of pulling out the head. Now, a lot of coaches or instructors would say why you guys pull out their head a lot is because they're trying to swing too hard, and that's right, but in a net from, a, from a mechanical standpoint, trying to swing too hard usually relates into trying to wind up the body in order to try to get the big muscles moving to swing harder. So by trying to swing harder, we end up winding up more and burying these hands. And then when we try to swing real hard, our head flies out. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of taking really hard hacks at the plate, but we have to take hard hacks under control. And as we all know, especially for the guys watching this video, a hard hack does us no good unless we can get the sweet spot of the bat on the ball. So why our head gets pulled out when we're swinging hard is very simple. Is when we're at the plate and we're trying to swing really hard, we're simply trying to use our head as a source of power. Oh! When we're up to the plate to hit, we're telling our brain that we're in a state of urgency. So this chain of event happens. We tell our brain that we wanna hit the ball hard. So now the brain knows that we wanna move our body really fast in order to hit the ball hard. The brain also knows that we're going to have to rotate our body to hit the ball. So the brain puts these two things together. To hit the ball hard, we have to move really fast and we have to rotate. So if the brain knows that it wants to do these things, it's going to attempt to do them the most efficient way possible. And to the brain, the most efficient way possible is to fire the rotational muscles as hard and as fast as it can. The problem here for us as hitters is that the neck contains extremely powerful rotational muscles that turn the head. And the brain is going to try to employ these muscles in an attempt to move faster. As you can see, our body is trying to do exactly what we're telling it to do. This is the exact reason why a lot of guys pull their head out all the time. So what we have to do as athletes is train our body to disconnect our head from the rotation of the swing. So what I'm going to do is show you a series of progression drills that'll teach you how to disconnect your head from your baseball swing. This is going to be a three-step progression drill where we work into 50 swings at 25%, 50%, 75%, and then game speed. So it's going to consist of 200 swings per progression of a total of 600 swings. So in this first progression, we're gonna lose the bat completely. And we're gonna do this in front of a mirror or a camera, and it's something that you can have to watch yourself. And the reason why we lose the bat is so we minimize the variables when we're trying to learn a new move. So if we don't have the variable of the bat in our hands, we can focus on what we're doing with our head. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna face the mirror straight on and we're gonna get into our hitting stance. Then you're gonna look down to about where a tee would be for a perfect pitch and you're going to take 50 swings very slowly at 25% mon monitoring the head, making sure that it's not moving. So that's gonna look kinda like this, where we're going nice and slow and the head is staying disconnected from the body, almost like it's not gonna move at all. Then you're gonna take 50 swings at 50%. So you're gonna pick up the pace a little bit and do the same thing, about half speed, and then you're gonna move up to 75%, and then all the way up to game speed as best as you can, okay? 
Now, when you're doing these, if you pick up to the next percentage and you have a hard time with uh, keeping your head still, go ahead and go back down. So if you're at 50% and you're having a hard time keeping your head there, go ahead and drop it back down to 25% for another good 20 to 40 swings and really start ingraining that movement and then pick it back up. And that way you're getting perfect repetitions every single time. Now the next progression is gonna be the light bat drill where we do the same series of progressions at 25%, 50, 75, and game speed. Now if you don't have a very light bat or a wiffle ball bat, it's actually the best for this drill. What you can do is you can just take your regular bat and hold it by the barrel like I'm doing here. And this will take the weight out of your hands and it'll feel very light. Also, we're not gonna be hitting the ball. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of the ball. I'm gonna leave the tee here so because we're always gonna wanna imagine where the ball is at perfect contact for where our head position is. Now this progression puts a bat back into our hands but leaves out the variable of the weight that a game bat has. So now we can start getting a feel of what it's like to disconnect the head from the body in the baseball swing with a bat in our hands. Now we're gonna take 50 swings at each percentage, 25, 50, 75 in game speed, and still in front of a mirror if we can, making sure that our head is staying disconnected from our body and that we're really monitoring that it's not moving all the way through contact. Now a quick tip for you guys, another great way to do these drills if you don't have access to a mirror or you don't have room to swing in front of a mirror is you can use your shadow. And what I used to do is I would put a ball on the ground and I would line my shadow up so my head was, my, the head of my shadow was on my ball and that way I could watch my head through the swing and make sure that the head was staying, was staying still. It's a great, great way to do it if you don't have access to a mirror. Now this last progression, we're gonna be using our game bat at our game weight. So we've already moved up from no bat to light bat all the way up to our game bat. And we're still not gonna add a ball yet and we're gonna, we're going to take 50 swings at each progression with our game bat. And after we've finished all three progressions without a ball, we'd have 600 perfect swings where our head is perfectly disconnected from our body and you're ready to start crushing some baseballs. Now, if you guys want to pick up some great bat speed to add to the great contact you're going to get from mastering the disconnecting the head from the body, go ahead and stay tuned for a bonus clip out of the Power Hitting series. If you click on the link in the preview or in the description below, you can see that video plus the entire Power Hitting series absolutely free of charge. It's got a lot of great videos in there. It's going to help you really pick up your bat speed. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe, plus one that's on Google. This stuff really helps us grow the channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Good luck with your swings, and we'll see you guys soon. We're going to take our hands, and we want to bring them back in front of our body. If we were having a line right down our feet, and our feet are dead square, we can imagine a wall coming right up out of that line in front of our face. And what we want to do is keep our hands in front of that wall at all times. They should never get behind this wall at all. Some of your better hitters will stay in front or get right on this wall, but they never go behind the ball. So if you watch them from down the line, you'll see that their hands stay in front of their body the whole time, and now they're able to go from point A to point B and get as solid a contact as possible to hit home runs. So what we're gonna do to work on this